Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of Eight, and today I'm playing farm management strategy game in Clement. Uh, you run a farm in the 1800s in Northern Europe, try to survive by planting crops and later raising animals and finding oil. So I'll start a new game, uh, gives you a little uh, synopsis there. And a little background story that I'll ignore. Uh, so the controls are fairly limited, it's side-scrolling. Uh, you can see the game is kind of in this retro block text, which I don't mind too much, but the text is uh, can be difficult to read. Uh, the font that they chose isn't the greatest, um, but that's alright. Uh, so basically, first step to do is to start clear some forest, so you press uh, the use key and then cut, and then turn that into fields. Uh, and then we'll do that on the other side too. And we'll do it over here also. And that's basically all of our money. Uh, then what will happen is uh, you'll get the grain uh, and then be able to sell it. So we'll head to town, we'll sell the grain, and then return back home. Uh, which I don't have that much money, but I also need to cut this and clear to make a granary because uh, that will increase your cap there, which puts me immediately in the red. <laughs> but that's uh, kind of what happens in the game. Uh, there's very small profit margins in here, uh, and you need to do things in a pretty specific order so you don't go broke, which I kind of didn't do. <laughs> in the beginning, I built too many fields to begin with instead of building the granary first. Um, but that's the way it goes. Uh, so you can uh, build other things too. You can build a cow house for cows. Uh, seller will increase your grain value. That'll be the next building I'll do. Uh, you can also build a shed to increase your wood and stone cap. Uh, grain dryer, which will be the next one that I'll do, which increases how much grain you can hold in its value. Uh, saw for faster resource production, which you don't really need uh, early on. Uh, windmill is kind of your end game once you have a lot of money. Uh, grain production thing. Housing for additional workers. Re ne new workers are extremely expensive. Um, that's really what... Uh, put you in uh, in debt later on in the game uh, is having those workers in there uh, and then very much later on as you can see $120,000 uh, is uh, oil towers and stuff like that so uh, you can't accelerate time although I don't even know if it really makes that much of a difference all the resource collection is completely automated so it's gonna get all the stuff you know at the end of summer here and then I will go sell it So there's my cap of four, so we'll go to town and we will go to Grain Inc. and sell it directly. In addition to that, I will also do, since I'm going to start making more than four a year, um, uh, you can also do contracts. So once I build one of my, uh, my little grain silo, I'll be able to hold more than four uh, and then grow more than four and then I'll enter this contract. The disadvantage is... Uh, the advantage is you can sell more than four because using it directly you can only sell four up to four a year. Uh, but they take 10% of your profits. So that's kind of the disadvantage there. In addition to going to town to sell your grain, you can also hire new workers, which like I said is very expensive. 350 a month, uh, which is kind of crazy. Uh, buy animals, cows and horses. Uh, and then over on the other side here, you can uh, go to the bank to take a loan or buy resources using money. Uh, from the vendors. There's the loan options if you want to take a $10,000 loan, which I would not suggest doing. Alright, so now we have a uh, thousand here, so I think I can afford the... S okay, what do I... I think I have the granary is the only thing. If you really, really only want to build one thing, yeah, I have one granary, that's it. So I do want the seller next. Alright, and then the grain dryer after that. There's that. That'll allow me to hold, or at least sell it for more money. And then the um, the dryer is my next thing that I want to get. Well, that's basically it. So you'll you'll really carefully expand. I got three point six one, so we'll go sell that. And I'm um, heading in the money. So beginning of the game is actually easier. Um, until you start expanding and then it gets much more difficult, which is interesting. Uh, each of the buildings you can upgrade also. So this, if I have $2,000 and six workers, I can upgrade my cellar, uh, which I cannot do yet. Your main house, you can upgrade that as well, which unlocks more buildings and stuff. 
Gives you the ability to place more fields. Uh, once again, I could actually do that now if I wanted to, which I might. You can also upgrade uh, your granary, which will increase the amount of grain you do, which is actually probably the first upgrade I'm going to do. And the next one I will do is this one, which I can almost afford once I clear one more uh, wood forested area. So there goes that. And then I will be up. Just barely not enough money to upgrade that. But that'll be the next upgrade. It'll be the main house. And then I will build the uh, grain dryer. Which is this thing here. That's another 1750. Uh, which will increase my grain and my grain value. And then that's kind of the point at which once you get there, once you have all that stuff upgraded, you kind of have to wait for workers. And you really have to have a lot of money then to be able to do simultaneous upgrades so you don't just lose money. So, like I said, very fine balance. I think I'm... How many fields do I have? See, I hit my field limit. Which, I have to upgrade this to do that, so... Okay, so there's that, so we'll head to town, and we'll sell that. So now I'm up to 2,500. So, I can upgrade this. Which gives me more stuff I can build. I can build two more fields, and still the grain dryer. Uh, so, I have the granary. I have the cellar, so I do need the grain dryer still. That'll be the last building for now. Uh, and that is 1750 and a lot of wood, which I do not have. So basically I'll have to clear some more stuff anyway. So how much is that? 80 wood. Kind of a lot. But I can I need these fields anyway, so it's not really a huge deal. So we'll wait till I collect some more. Actually I'll probably make a field. Do one more. I'm almost at the point where I'm going to get a more than four a year, and then I'll enter a contract. And there's your move fast, but time doesn't really move. Do -do 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 -do. See the numbers, numbers go up. I think I'm still going to be like under four. Uh, oh no, that's right. I have that extra field, so I'm going to sell almost all this. <laughs> Left with point one one. All right, so you'll cut forest. So I do want to build my grain dryer, which I barely do not have enough wood for. What if I clear one more? Right. Build grain dryer. Boom. All right, that is essentially. All I can do, because to upgrade this, you have to have four workers. That'll this this is what you need. You need a couple hiring a worker with upgrading the grain dryer, and doing a bunch more fields. So I kind of need to save up until I have the four thousand for that and the thousand for the worker um, before I really do anything else. So that's min four workers. This is seven, so I'm not going to be able to do that yet. That is five, so I'm not going to be able to do that. That's twenty thousand anyway. That's kind of a lot. What else does that do? Two more fields and a windmill. And then the seller needs six workers. So really at this point, the only thing I can do is wait uh, for one. And then I need to get the grain dryer upgrade and the hiring a worker pretty much simultaneously. Um, now I can probably make more fields here. That'll be my last one, I believe. That I can do. Yep, I have five fields. Now I'm at the point where I'm making a little bit more grain, so I will head to town. I will sell directly, and then I'm also going to take this first contract. It takes 10%. Uh, but I can sell more than four, which is what's going to happen anyway. So now it's a waiting game until I get enough money to upgrade this and get my worker. 
Although I might upgrade this first and then grab the worker the next year. Um, and that's basically it. So, you know, a lot of this game is figuring out which order you can do things in. I played uh, <laughs> enough games that I can't remember how many games I played where I would go in and then just screw up and not get enough uh, income. Uh, bringing in workers is a huge... There goes the rest of my thing in my contract. Uh, bringing in workers is a huge sink of money. Uh, so you have to be make sure you're really financially sound when you uh, end up doing that. Um, but there's really... Because there is a set order in the game, there's really no reason to play uh, this game more than once uh, once you progress all the way to the end and get all the cattle and the oil in. Because it's basically the same thing. You just designate areas of your... Um, land for different buildings and then automatically sell that stuff uh, in uh, the market so and then upgrade your buildings over time all right so let's see how much uh, grain I get hopefully it's above four yeah a lot more actually yeah it's like four point something all right so we should be good to go Actually, we have enough for it now. Except we don't have enough wood. I'm gonna have to cut down some more trees. If I can. Or I could buy wood, I suppose. Instead of cutting down all my forest. Yeah, let me cut down one. 68. thousand dollars for 10 one that's not really worth it at all so I don't think I'll be doing that I'll just wait eighty wood yeah I'm already at 70 it's not worth a thousand dollars for 10 one it's going up pretty fast anyway So in order to get more fields, I have to have five workers, which I can. Oh yeah, that's the uh, yeah. See that it's multi. I actually also need to build a housing as well. So I actually need two th another sixty wood and two thousand for that. Uh, before I really get a worker in there, because I really need to get up to uh, five workers so I can upgrade this for another 20,000 um, so I can unlock more fields. It's roughly one worker per field. Uh, now I do have five fields, but only four or three workers actually right now. Um, but anyway, all right, I'm almost at 80. You can see right now I'm actually in a pretty good financial state uh, where I'm making money every month or every year, both. Uh, you see I'm making 250 a month, which basically covers one worker. I'll be a little bit short. Oh, there's my 80, so I can finally upgrade this. Oh, no, I can't. Why can't I? 80 wood, 25 stone, and $4,000. Apparently it's not doing. Oh, minimum four workers. That's right. I got to get the worker first. That's stupid. All right. So as soon as I hit the worker, I got to come back and do that immediately. All right. So we'll do that because that's a thousand. All right. So let's head to town. Get the worker. Go back home. Immediately upgrade this before my money goes away. There we go. So now I'm at my worker limit. God, workers are so expensive too. So that's my worker limit. So I need to build a uh, housing, which is 2,000 and 60 wood in order to get another worker. 
but so we'll see what happens to my money I think I'm gonna get uh, screwed <laughs> personally you lose so much money every month it's insane yeah I, oh, actually see I'm I'm gaining 182 which is good so luckily I have my upgrades enough where but man it's expensive but I'm not making a lot of money either that's that's the downside I'm only making 182 so in order to afford the housing you know it's gonna take 10 years uh, of waiting which is kind of insane uh, so I'm not gonna make you uh, wait that long uh, so basically the next step I would do is build a housing recruit another worker max out my fields which I already maxed out but I would get another worker so I'd have it fully staffed and then move on to cows uh, and windmills and stuff like that and then upgrade anything else and I can upgrade based on what my population is right now um, and that's basically it uh, so you know it's gonna say I'm actually making a pretty good amount of grain a year I'm actually almost reaching the contract so I'm not in debt if you're in debt for a year straight then the game ends um, but again I'm still only making 182 a month uh, which is, you know, pretty slow. Um, so, there you go. Uh, that's Inclement. I think it's an interesting little game. Um, like I said, there's really only one way uh, to play. As I've experimented trying to do things in a different build order. And it really just doesn't work. Uh, you really have to have it at this state here. In order to afford your additional worker. And even then, you can see I'm going uh, into debt. Uh, before the, I sell off the next group of my grain. Uh, so again, really small profit margins make it so you have to do things in a very specific order so you don't go broke. And what that means is is that you really only play the game once and then you're done with it, which is fine considering what the price is. Um, but uh, keep that in mind, which makes this different than other management games, which are a little bit more open and freeform. I mean, this is open. You can build whatever you want, but you're going to lose uh, fairly quickly in the game. Uh, I don't mind the low-resolution uh, retro-type graphics except for the font. Is really hard to read um, that part I don't care for but the overall style is fine uh, and there are a good number of options you can do uh, between the buildings that you can uh, you know uh, get and which upgrades you want to do first uh, but again like I said you have to do it in a pretty specific order or you're going to uh, uh, go in a debt and lose the game um, so overall it's an enjoyable little game um, it's really just a, a game you play one time all the way through once you figure out which, uh, which order to build stuff in. Uh, and then there you go. You know, have a time doing that and uh, listening to the music as you play. So that's all I have for today. Till next time, bye now.